there are no bad days, just great days and character training days. This is CC Essentials week 22. It's time for spelling rules. A review of rules five, six, and seven. I and Y may say it or I at the end of a syllable, like lion, title, try, cry, clinic, visit, bicycle, physic. When a one-syllable word ends in a single vowel, why it always says I, buy, my, cry, try, fry. Why says longy only in a multisyllable word that ends with an unstressed syllable, like baby, funny. I may say e with a silent final e at the end of a syllable and at the end of foreign words, manicotti, spaghetti, Afghani, safari. Punctuation and capitalization rules we are reviewing from weeks seven and eight. Use commas to separate items in a series like we invited the neighbors, comma, Fred, comma, and Sue, period. Most depositives, which rename nouns, are surrounded by commas. And a positive is a noun or pronoun directly beside another noun that explains or identifies it. That's an a positive. Example, that ladybug comma an insect comma is red with black spots. It's time for homophone practice. Serial and serial. There must be a cereal thief because the cereal keeps going missing from the kitchen. Pain and pain. I felt pain when my hand touched the broken window. Pain. Seen and seen. Have you seen the last scene of the play? We're reviewing all charts this week. To see charts A through L and hear them, go to bit.ly slash charts A L and hear that video. For this video, I'll go through charts M through C C. A complex sentence consists of an independent clause and at least one subordinate clause. For structures, simple compound complex, compound complex. So tell me what structure you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what structure I want, what I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want a simple sentence with a subject and a predicate. If you want it compound, better add a fanboy. If you want it complex, add a who or which or a subordinate conjunction. If you want a compound complex, add a fanboy plus a coordinating conjunct, subordinating conjunction or a who or which. That one got rusty, sorry. Let's do the interrogative examples today for chart M. Complex structure. Subject, verb, intransitive. Does Jesus forgive because he loves? Who forgives because he loves? Subject, verb, direct object. Does Jesus save us because he loves us? Or who saves us because he loves us? Subject, verb, Lincoln predicate, nominative. Is Jesus savior because he is God? Or who is savior because he is God? Subject, verb, Lincoln predicate, adjective. Is Jesus humble because he is holy? Or who is humble because he is holy? Subject, verb, indirect object. Direct object, does Jesus who gives me strength give me hope? Subject, verb, direct object, object, complement, noun. Does Jesus who calls me his child call me his friend? Subject, verb, direct object, object, complement, adjective. Did Jesus who called me beloved make me holy? Chart N, verb anatomy of to have. Let's do... 
second person singular. Simple form have, had, will have, perfect form you have to have, to have to be perfect because the past participle have, had, 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 will have, had, progressive form to be, plus the present participle are having, were having, will be having, perfect progressive form you have to have, to have to be perfect, plus been, plus the present participle have been having, had been having, will have been having. Chart O, verb anatomy of to play. Let's do first person plural. Simple form play, played, shall play. Perfect form you have to have, to have to be perfect plus a past participle. Have played, had played, shall have played. Progressive form to be plus a present participle. Am playing, was playing, shall be playing. Perfect progressive form. You have to have to have to be perfect plus been plus a present participle. Have been playing, had been playing, shall have been playing. Chart P, model sentences, compound complex. Let's do exclamatory. Purpose. Subject, verb, intransitive. Jesus, who loves, forgives, and believers pray. Subject, verb, direct object. Jesus, who loves us, saves us, and he forgives us. Subject, verb, Lincoln predicate, nominative. Jesus, who is savior because he is God and he is love. Subject, verb, Lincoln predicate, adjective. Jesus, who is holy, is humble, and he is patient. Subject, verb, indirect object. Direct object. Jesus, who gives me strength, gives me hope, and he gives me joy. Subject, verb, direct, object, object, compliment, now. Jesus, who calls me his child, calls me his friend, and he proclaims me a new creation. Subject, verb, direct, object, object, compliment, adjective. Jesus, who called me beloved, made me holy, and calls me redeemed. Chart Q verbals. Going back to the video from Clifton Bird for that one. Chart Q verbals. A verbal is a verb that is used as another part of speech. An infinitive is to plus a verb used as a noun, adjective, or adverb. To fly is my desire. It goes up on a pedestal. A gerund is a present participle verb form used as a noun. Flying is my desire. It's on a step on a pedestal. A participle is a verb, usually ending in ed. E-n, t, or ing used as an adjective. Flying machines are fascinating. It goes underneath what it modifies. A verbal is a verb that is used as another part of speech. A verbal is a verb that is used as another part of speech. This is chart CC, verb anatomy of to love in passive voice. For this one, let's do third person singular. Simple form is loved, was loved, will be loved. Perfect form, you have to have, to have to be perfect, plus a past participle, plus been. Has been loved, had been loved, will have been loved. Progressive form, to be, you have to have, plus being, plus a past participle. Is being loved, was being loved, will be being loved. Perfect progressive form. You have to have to have to be perfect. Plus been plus being plus a past participle. 
has been being loved, had been being loved, will have been being loved. New IEW vocabulary narrative. The author shared a lovely narrative about two strong tigers. Intrigue. The scent in the kitchen led me to share my intrigue with Hannah, who also loves cookies. Recount. Can you recount how many times you've lost a tooth? Triumph. The long day of battle ended in triumph for the strongest team. For decorations this week, we wanna pay attention to writing in present tense. Here's a couple of simple examples of present tense. She gets up early in the morning. Maria goes to the library every week. The teacher teaches in the classroom. And that's it, peace out, bye. Okay, bye.